Flatrange LARPers are an increasing group of radical individuals that spend a ridiculous amount of money on different cool toys that every man wishes they could own. But the one fatal flaw to most, most flat range LARPers is their kit. They spend so much money, but yet they overlook the simple knife. Today, we're gonna to be looking at tactical folding utility knives that should make it onto any flat range LARPers kit. And now, let's get into it. So first off, I think it's important to note that if you're going to be a high speed, low drag, flat range LARPer, you need to be equipped with the best equipment. That means night vision goggles, the best firearms, the best plate carriers, the best plates obviously for armor. And that all culminates into the need for the best knives as well. And I think that the proper flat range LARPer should have a diverse and rich degree amount, degree or amount of knives in their collection. You can't just settle with just one knife. So I thought I would give a nice spectrum and a broad range of price for you to get started with. And of course, too, there's also going to be a good amount of actions here and different styles of knives because you can't just have a simple, plain lockback folder. This is not going to cut it for long. But now let's jump into it. So we're going to go, oh, go over, of course, with the most important going from least to greatest. And as you increase your level in flat range LARPing, you need to be able to increase your, you know, like level of knife. So your caliber of knife will change and become hopefully greater and greater. All right. So let's start off with the least of them. Now, this is genuinely a good option. Now, as you can see, you might not always be able to deploy it the best, and that's the real issue with this, but this is a Spyderco Delica 4. Now, this one in particular is used, abused, and in K390, and if you're really gonna go with one of these, you have to go in with K390 or another high-end tool steel, because when you are cutting your mother's sandwiches that she's made for you, you have to have the proper edge retention for that to work out. So the K390 option in variant is the way to go with the Delica 4, but this is a reasonably affordable option coming in at around $100. Um, this is going to provide you ample edge retention. It might rust, so you might want to force patina like I did, but either way you slice it, this is probably going to be one of the better contenders for your low range kind of entry level. Now the next best entry level knife, and it's kind of tricky because this one is from a discontinued company or this company is no longer you know, in business, but there's still a lot of these out there for the time being, and that is the Ontario Rat Model 1. Now the Rat Model 1, I think, is a really venerable choice. This one in particular is in the very fancy CPM S35VN, but this thing in particular gives you a good long blade length, good long handle length, so that when you're wearing your tactical gloves, you can still get a good grip on it, and you know you're not gonna lose traction, and the blade is gonna be able to do just about anything you need it to do within reason. Once again, cutting those peanut butter jelly sandwiches is very important, so this is going to be able to help facilitate all of those very important cuts. Next one up and kind of stepping it up in price range is going to be Emerson Knives. Now Emerson as a total, I could go, you know, on and on about many different variants. This one in particular is the Commander. I think the Commander is probably one of the best LARPer choices here because you have a very deeply recurved blade profile. So you're going to really be able to, you know, like channel the cuts into the center, into the belly of this knife, which is very important because, you know, when you have to make those tactical cuts into MRE packaging. You really want to just gather all the plastic material to one singular part of your edge as you're making that nice long slice across the MRE packaging. So it's very important for that and uh, that's why I think the Commander is the best, but there are many, many good options out there. The CQC 8, the Horseman, the CQC 7, 
the Patriot. I own a good amount of Emersons, and I can tell you from personal experience, as a flat range um, LARPer myself, you know, this is a very, very righteous choice. You're, you're not going to be scolded by the knife community with an Emerson, and if you are, you can just laugh at them while you are, of course, sharpening your Emerson on the sidewalk, in on the cement, you know, pavement, asphalt stuff, you know, that's, that's how you're supposed to sharpen an Emerson. So yeah, it's a really, really venerable choice. Next one up is a classic and it's kind of what I would consider, you know, a step up, like as you get more advanced in your LARPing pursuits, you know, you're gonna want something more than a Delica four. So the Paramilitary two. Now the Paramilitary two sounds like it would be half as good as the Delica four, but it's actually twice as good as the Delica four. So this gives you a much smoother action easy deployment you're not going to fail to like flick this knife out and uh, in those very stressful moments when you need to you know process some very important rations this is going to be able to deploy quickly and what i like the most is this compression lock back here you know it's going to allow you to swing the knife closed not letting any of your meaty bits uh, in front of the closing blade so very important these also come in a lot of high-end steels this one is in cpm rex 4 45, which really doesn't mean much to any non-knife person, but it's a good way to flex and, you know, say that you're more important than someone else. So I really like that part about the custom or limited edition sprint run paramilitary twos. But the Spyderco paramilitary two is one that's very hard to go wrong with. Now, next one up, and of course, we can't make any list about flat range LARPing without the venerable, as I failed to deploy it, the venerable Benchmade brand. Now the Benchmade brand makes many, many knives and many of them are just mediocre. You know, a lot of people come to the flat range with a Benchmade and they think that they're, you know, really cool. But, you know, honestly, most of these knives are just pretty mediocre. So what I would say is if you're going to go with a Benchmade, you're going to want to go with an automatic, something like this, you know, uh, automatic Adamus or auto Adamus. Um, is going to be something that's going to allow you to facilitate properly. Once again, deployment is everything when you're trying to impress your friends, because really what it's all about, you know, you, you gotta open your, you know, rations, your MREs, you gotta cut your peanut butter jelly sandwiches, uh, maybe even, you know, a spam sandwich, if you're really getting high up there, you know, by maybe by this point you're eating spam sandwiches instead. And so, you know, in order to show your friends how serious you are, you have to be able to deploy the knife very quickly and that's what that automatic feature does. You know, it's a very fast moving, you know, spring driven um, design. So all you have to do is just hit that button and you know, bam, it's out and it's ready to cut that spam sandwich. So very important um, stuff here. But yeah, so the 2750 automatic or auto Adamus by Benchmade is the next one up on the list. It is just overall a fantastic performer for the flat range LARPing enthusiast. Now, if you are a fan of automatic knives and you're like, you know, that's, that's a great knife, but I want something just a little bit different, maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit you know, more unique, I would say that the Heretic Knives Manticore X is probably going to be the next choice on the list. And the reason why I say the Manticore X is it's just a big knife. When you look at it, when you put it next to something like the Adamus, the Adamus is already a big knife, right? Well, the, the Manticore X is even bigger. And the best part is the blade comes out of the center of it. This is what we call an out the front and so if you are a flat range larper this is something that you absolutely must have something like an out the front you know maybe you don't carry it everywhere but you know that all the most tactical like seal team six guys they're running out the fronts and so therefore if you're going to be on the flat range larping around you absolutely have to have your really good out the front automatic and yeah this is just it's big it's mean it fires hard it it's everything that a man would want in a knife for the flat range this is going to get the job done 100 percent of the time and yeah i think that heretic knives um, with the manticore x is just the pinnacle of out the front knives for flat range enthusiasts 
Last up is when you finally graduated, as I like to call it. You know, if you've really come to the pinnacle, you know, you're running quad nods, you're running, you know, the Gucci Knights Armament Company guns, you know, you're, you're really there, right? You're like at that level, but you don't quite know how to be fully you know, SEAL team, full Navy SEAL, full Green Beret, full, you know, um, Delta Force. If, if you're really like at that point, you have everything but the knife, don't, you do not want to be caught running around with a Delica 4. You don't want to be caught running around with a Rat 1. You know, you want to be professional. This is it right here. This is the Strider SNG. Now, potentially, potentially, if you're a bigger handed guy, you might go with the Strider SMF, but either the Strider SNG or the SMF. This is going to be peak operator right here. This is peak operator. You do not get more operator than Strider. And so this is it. This is how you're going to, you know, be able to prove to all the boys, you know, you have your quad nods from EOTech, you have your KAC rifle, you probably are carrying a, you know, a really fancy uh, 1911, custom 1911, we'd hope. Um, you know, maybe Wilson Combat if you're really good. Maybe if you're like really lore accurate, you go with one of those Colt USMC 1911s because a lot of people, you know, they try to go with one of the 2011s and those things are cool. But you know, like a, a true 1911, like a Colt USMC 1911, that's, that's the mood um, if you're truly an operator. And so, you know, this SNG right here is, is where it's at. In fact, there were actual SNGs made in conjunction with the Marine 1911s. Those ones are super rare and super elusive, but if you can't quite swing that whole, like, you know, uh, combo package, this is it. Just get an SNG, get an SMF, call it a day. So anyways, these have been a handful of knives. I think this was like seven knives that if you are a flat range LARPer, these are the considerations that you need to make. And like I said, you know, we got knives at every price range, stepping it up, you know, getting more expensive and more expensive, but it's very important to be properly equipped. Cause like I said, the last thing you want to do is have to encounter a problem on the flat range and not have a knife to take care of that problem. You know, last time I opened, tried to open a bag of cheetah with my handgun I got in a lot of trouble so you know you want to make sure that you have a knife to take care of those very specific problems so if you're if you know you know but this has been a handful of knives for the flat range LARPers you guys are out there the community is growing it's becoming more prevalent and these are the knives you need